and you got a drilled boulder up here that are obviously on some aqua blocks i'm imagining yep, with the size blocks. of this what a cool rock though first of all dude this is gorgeous Thank i you. love this with this fountainscape right here and then what kind of flowers are these zinnias zinnias i love them they are gorgeous another waterfall is coming down here you got some what russian sage yep. so this, oh this is awesome dude this, this is cool water feature that i designed okay and then christy to design the other one there it is <laughs> So I want to put a rock so, so this is how the cobbler's son lives the aquascape lifestyle. <laughs> Cute little water hyacinths. Yep. A little fountain. Welcome to living the aquascape lifestyle. Three hours in cornfields. This is how I stay awake. I was not ex Arrived. This is where I'm supposed to go. Okay. Looks like no one else is here. There's my guy and destination. Heartland Church. Okay. I guess I'm vlogging a church. Is this a far way for you to drive to go to church? Uh, 15 minutes. Oh, we're that close to you. Yeah, dude. How you doing? Okay, good, good to see you. All right, Jeremy. Welcome to Nebraska. I definitely have seen a lot of cornfields. We got corn <laughs> and soybeans. So this is your church, huh? Yes. I didn't know we were going to be vlogging at a church today. Yes. This is really nice. So our main church is down there, and that church got caught on fire. And right when it did that, they decided to build this one. Home for Heartland Church in Central City and Fuller. Tin, Chapman, a lot of surrounding areas come to church here. And so you got a, what, a fountainscape in the front? Yeah, we just have a fountainscape here. That way the kids can play with it when they get out. So I'm Greg Whitstock, the pond guy. This is my channel, Greg Whitstock, the pond guy, and it's all about showcasing how people live or worship <laughs> the aquascape lifestyle. And I'm with Jeremy Volchek of Volchek Gardens, and we are in the middle of Nebraska, that is for sure. Yes, sir. And you got a drilled boulder up here that are obviously on some aqua blocks, I'm imagining, yep, with the size blocks. of this. What a cool Cool rock though. And a two to four thousand gallon per hour pump. It's a piece of limestone that we had for we built lots of limestone walls. They got music out here. Yeah, so uh, wow. year one, it's kind of cool. This church was funded by the body. Year one, we put in this walkway here. Year two, we did this. Year one, we also had everyone do the plantings around this as well. Last year we did the pergola, which actually one of our pastors takes uh, old telephone poles and he milled this wood. Oh, okay. Okay, very nice. So you got aqua blocks down here, I see, yep. and a drilled rock, and just something that people could sit and just, you know, have that sound. Oh, yeah. And Not the kids bad. will come out here. Of course. Water they, will track them up. They play with the wood, and they mess with the rocks. Yes. Sometimes they plug them and try to get people <laughs> Of course. Away. That's what we would have done as kids. Yeah, but just a really awesome thing. When you walk into the church, the first thing you see and the first thing you leave is you get to see this. So we thought it would be kind of fun for the church. Good work, my man. Thank you. So my daughters actually helped me build this. So they helped with the aqua block, they helped with the pond liner, they helped with everything. And the church helped with all the plants and things like that. But uh, it looks feature. beautiful. I don't know why every church doesn't have a decorative water feature because water is life. And it's simple. <laughs> it's very easy to do. Yeah, beautiful. Good job, my man. There he is. Welcome. <laughs> Where is office? This is home, huh, buddy? Yes, it is home. It is gorgeous. I see the pond. What is this? So, <laughs> this right here, this is competitions next week. It's for Mr. Habitat for oh, Humanity. Oh, man, you really clean up nice in the uh, pictures. Oh, pretty there. <laughs> Five or six years ago, they did the first one. I was in the first one, didn't win that one. So they're doing another, they do them every year. This is like the celebrity Mr. Habitat for those who didn't win to try to win again. Well, what is Mr. Habitat? It's for Habitat for Humanity. Oh, okay, okay. So you're going to get a house. 
house. Well, not me getting a house. <laughs> it's for someone else getting a house that's in need. It's of all it. right. It's a little fundraiser thing. This is gorgeous. So yeah. we're in Nebraska, are we? Chapman, Nebraska. Hey, look, it's a fire chief. Chapman, Nebraska, otherwise known as Podunk, Nebraska. <laughs> you know what's crazy, Greg? Yeah, what's... This used to be a bank. Okay, the, your shop. This is the office or shop's down the way. This. Okay, the... first of all, dude, this is gorgeous. Thank I you. love this with this fountainscape right here. And then what kind of flowers are these? Zinnias. Zinnias, I love them. They are gorgeous. They're just an easy pop of color. So you got a pondless waterfall with a fountainscape. Was this your lot then, I'm guessing? Our lot kind of stops right here. Uh-huh. the fire department, but we just landscaped it so it looked kind of pretty. Yeah, it looks like the same. Uh-huh. So we built this so people can come see what we do like yeah so okay so your customers can come to your shop we Gotta hey, build. there's my wife for real she's running come on over i didn't think you lived here where do you live dude just down the street so she's just oh she's walking to the post office uh they had uh that's the community center they had a village meeting for chapman days next saturday so you're just we're here vlogging your wife's just walking down the street in her bare feet yep. how you doing high five good, good to you. see you good to see you too thanks for coming oh my gosh are you kidding me this is my pleasure this is fun so <laughs> what were you doing walking down the street with your bare feet meeting at the uh community center there chapman, chapman fall, fall festival, festival next saturday there's just all sorts of stuff coming out here well give me the tour when did we buy this building we used to have an office a detached garage where our office used to be and we bought this thing was it seven years ago yeah so come on <laughs> do you have to go to your meeting we just got done oh okay yeah. all right so it's a party now i love the little walkway across that's where the kids play all the time yeah like your kids or just any kids coming by they any kids. kids well why wouldn't they water oh, features draws and hang out and... totally i love it it's gorgeous so when did you put this in the first year we moved in we did some stuff inside the second year i think we did uh the walkway in the palmless i love how it's only maybe a quarter inch below little with this challenging. little stream yeah set it with a laser transit another waterfalls coming down here you got some what russian sage yep. cut leaf something. sumac oh and a cat we got cats some cats in town and then we got another so oh this is awesome dude yeah, this, this is my, cool my water feature that i designed okay and then christina designed the other one. Oh, okay fast falling you know everything mine's slow meandering i like it though i like them all it's kind of a unique uh, design with the vertical limestone on the side there oh that's actually really cool dude i love that a lot and i love all of the different textures the colors the textures he's really good at that so you are a designer in the company right yeah, when we first started off i was our sole designer now andrew's pretty much our main designer my job has turned a lot more into community outreach so i design for like pollinator gardens at schools or for parks so just kind of the fun, fun. Stuff. that is fun definitely yeah i like this little deep pocket in here that you have some floaters in and it looks like some cattails or iris maybe right there yep sweet flags sweet flags there very nice so do you have parties back here yeah this is kind of like heck yeah got the music yeah, going like company get-togethers her sister was going to get married here but it wasn't done yet so if we want to show someone what we do we do pavers we do pergolas we do water features fireplaces fire pits yep. there used to be a big building here and another one's going to go so it kind of changed the whole vision of this in here, so. they, they knocked the building down the building was too old so they're going to yeah. have the new building it's like two weeks ago yeah you missed that one. so you, oh really two weeks ago they knocked the building down yeah, it was yeah. insane take out some stress with the putting yep. and the chipping. This is really nice. So you got about 15 or so people working for you? Not not that many. When we were in the heat of the summer, yes. Okay, now yeah. you're down to like nine. Lost a couple of people to college and other things. Yes, like same as Aquascape. Yep. Very nice. Well, this is definitely living the Aquascape lifestyle in, you know, a commercial building. Yeah. So this is a really cool place and you live close enough to walk to. Literally down the street. Yeah. Okay. Three blocks down. Her sister that works for us lives three blocks that way. Okay. Okay, so you can walk to work. Now, do you have a pond at your house? Jeremy does not want me to show you. <laughs> I want to put a rec pond okay. in, but we have to put new windows in and we got to put a garage in. Before it's the, the rec classic. Pond it's in. the cobbler son without the new shoes. Yep. So it's made out of a cattle tank. <laughs> okay. Sunk in the ground. She did it when I was gone. Yes. Oh, you did it, huh? Well, then I'm sure it's beautiful. <laughs> don't get your hopes up. <laughs> you don't want to show it. <laughs> All right, let's go check out your house.
So this is where you keep all the money at uh, oh, Volchek Gardens. Oh, gold bars go in here. Oh my goodness. That is so cool. And the cat. And the cat. <laughs> so it's a former bank that you guys now run. I think the most beautiful thing in the entire, not entire place though, is the little five month old. Hey, hey, <sighs> yeah. Oh my gosh, congratulations, mom. So this is home, huh? And uh, Andrew, you the designer, head designer? Yep. Working, and then I think when we were in here last night, I saw this. I love the teammates up here. Where are you, Andrew? Okay, so five years and counting. So how long have you been working here now? A little over five years. Okay, so yeah, you're a masochist. Five, yeah, five years in May, <laughs> or April. Masochist, for sure, working for <laughs> What does that mean? Masochist, it what does it mean? Do you like the pain? <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you do? You always call to the chickens there? Yep. Yeah, even the chickens get irritated by you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, where's this uh, pond uh, that you're... It's a little tiny water feature that my wife put in. Aww. And I was gone. Oh, trophy! There it is! <laughs> so I want to put a rock so, so this is how the cobbler's son lives the aquascape lifestyle. <laughs> Cute! Little water hyacinths. Yep. A little fountain and a little puppy. Guard dog. You would make a hobbyist proud. Yes. <laughs> yes. How old? Sophie is 13 years, no 14, aren't you Sophie? Aww. Oh, look at it. She just cute. wants to be held as a pocket <laughs> toy. Yes, she does. All right, so the future plans are a recreation yeah. pond over here. Future plan is rec pond's gonna be here, but we gotta put it in the garage first. So this will basically nice. use all grass. What is this, pumpkins? Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at Why aren't they orange? She got white pumpkins and there's- Oh, uh, cool. Three. So you're gonna get rid of the garden and put a rec pond in after you get a new garage. After we get a new- How old is the house? Over 100 years old. Wow. I don't know if I told you this, but when we started our business, of course, when you start your business, you don't have any money, right? Yes. So I said, you know what? We'll just move. This will be our office. So we turned that detached garage into our office. Sure. And these gates would open up. Our trucks and, would be here. And then the guest room where I slept last night. It was actually, besides the train, it was pretty good. So anyway, that was your first office right here. Yep, first office. This was all gravel back here. Plants would be here. Boulders, materials would be here. And now you can get rid of the pool next year and put the rec pond in for the kids. That is the goal. Right, Sophie? She likes it. <laughs> <laughs> 